intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back. And today I actually want to hit two topics real quick. One that will probably people look at this video later from now to understand how something works and then also to answer a quick question. So for the first part of the video, I want to discuss Alliance Exocomps because as more and more players are leveling up in the game, you need to know how you can access these and what they do and what they're good for. So for those that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, especially maybe if you're on a newer server like server 95, 96, 92, etc., there are Alliance level Exocomps. And I see I just activated a warp speed one. Now the question comes, well, how do I actually get those? Now the good thing is everybody in the Alliance can take advantage of that. So congrats, everybody in IA now has a 90% boost to the warp speed of their ships. You're gonna get there even faster. So now like I come over here, start my armada, and I'm gonna get there now in what, probably like two minutes instead of uh, what, three-ish minutes or whatever you would have taken me. Now, how do I actually go about unlocking those? So the key with these armadas or I'm sorry, these exocomps is that they are an ops locked feature. So they came out, what, about a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, I'm sure I can ask Pseudo in my Discord because I, I don't remember every time when something comes out like this, but came out about two years ago, but it's level 46 up and kind of locked. And it's one of the things they did to not only improve things like the warp range or getting places quicker in the game to try to alleviate the problems because the higher level you get, the further out things are, the longer it takes to get there, but also just to make gameplay in general better. But how to get them is right here. Seven day chest. And you see we've got a repair speed one and a warp speed one. And both of these are intended to be guaranteed. So the warp speed one is the one that I just activated. So once a week I can pull both of these that have gotten added once I've gotten to level 46. So I wouldn't be able to do this, you know, for the past couple months, but now I can. That means as a level 46 plus player, I can help out my alliance now by going into the exocomp screen, choosing the various options that I have and activating them. And I just chose to activate the warp speed one for the sake of this video. But obviously there are multiple options. And, you know, this is something I'm curious to see how much more they expand into this. But in terms of like, how can I start taking advantage? Well, Ops 46 is the starting point. And then who can take advantage? Well, everybody in the Alliance is now going to get that buff. You, everybody is going to benefit from it, not just you. Now, yes, this is something that does require the leveling up process. Like you do have to become a higher level player. Or at this point in the game, you'd probably call mid 40s a mid level player, but it's still very useful and still something that you should be no, you know, take note of and see if you can use that to your advantage. Or maybe you didn't even realize you had access to this and now you do. So that's the first part of this video. The next part of this video I wanted to talk about is the ongoing St. Patrick's Day event. Now, being the beautiful ginger that I am, obviously this is a holiday that we well, we, we enjoy celebrating. Now, I had to rock the, uh, the olive drab here from the Hidden Leaf Village because if I rocked pure green, the green screen would have <laughs> completely knocked me out. So I am wearing green, no pinching. No pinching. Unless... Unless you want, then you can beans. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, let's talk about this. So what should you spend your currency on? That's going to be our main question. But the secondary question, or probably the first question is, how do we actually get it? So Alliance Milestone, the easiest way, which if your Alliance completes this, which should be relatively easy for most teams, the Milestone's not hard to reach. And this is going to give you a total of what, 20,000? Let's see, that's 6, 12, 24,000 right there. Then we've got the, hate these, but they're there. It was a two day one. <laughs> and one of the reasons I always tell people to run away teams, here's your away teams one that gave you another few thousand. And then there is a leaderboard right now and a hunt fed slash hunt Klingon hostile one giving you another set. And then the leaderboard, if you choose to push for it, is based on critical damage. To armadas and i haven't decided if i'm going to push this because it's such a long one but you can see a lot of people out here are doing some of the really big ones and uh yeah it's quite a lead that they have on me especially those expansion cubes you can get some really nasty points up there but anyway there are your options now the question comes down to well how do you score or what is worth scoring on 
Like, who should I actually go after, if anybody? There's a good set of officers here. But the first thing I would tell you is if you're listening to this, we've pushed really hard for this as content creators, moderators, etc. The Mantis is included right here. So if you do not have the Mantis, this is your option. I don't hear any other lick about what to do. It doesn't matter what officers are available. Get the Mantis. You want to get this. Now, you can only get a maximum of 25 blueprints, so it is not a full thing. But at the same time, if you're a free-to-play player, you're not going to have enough to get 25 blueprints anyway because you would need 187,500 of these coins to get. Uh, I'm sorry, that's that's too much because you're getting 5, 4, 7, 50. So it's 1,500 each, and I should have paid attention to that math first. So that means that you're going to need 37,500, which technically you will be able to do. I'm so sorry. I should have paid attention. I almost... Made a big error, but you know what? I'm leaving it in. I'm not editing it out because I got a football video to make. So uh, editing time on this Friday is short. I'm going to try to do this in one take. So you can go after the Mantis. If you do not have the Mantis, this is where you should be going after. Unlocking the Mantis because right now Incursions is completely foobar. Y'all don't know what it means. I'll tell you on Twitch. Now, if you do have the Mantis, something else to consider. Let me go ahead and give you two that you should consider. You've got several skins here. But the Section 31 refit is worth going after. Why? It improves your pulls for the Cerritos. I'm sorry, not the Cerritos. The Discovery, including adding Lorca into the pulls. And then the Meridian refit. I'm a big fan of the Meridian refit. Granted, cost is not amazing. But if you're slowly working towards getting these skins free to play, they are options. Now let's get into the officers and which ones have the most value for players. Now there are a lot of players who enjoy uh, these epics like Strange World Una. And obviously she's been difficult to unlock for a long time. When these events come around, if you're a free-to-play player, I tend to point people towards the rares because you get more shards and more value for them. The epic simply costs more. You see, five Una shards is 30,000. It actually cost me 18,000 of this new currency, this lucky shamrock, for me to be able to unlock Strange New World Una. And what does that do for me? Nothing because she's basically just an impulse speed runner. And that's not bad. I mean, there's nothing wrong with impulse speed, but I've already got two engineering officers for this set and stats are important. Remember we talk about stat stacking is such a big deal, but Una is an option. Now you do have Strange World Pike, but he's available in both transporter patterns and the Mantis refinery. And you have a few others as well. Strange New World Laon, however, does not have very easy sourcing. And this is a rare meaning five for 15,000 better value in terms of number of shards come across. I know a lot of y'all were needing Bashir. You had not maxed out Bashir. You not got Bashir to the level that you would want. Bashir is a very important officer for me, especially for uh, solo armadas. You look at the below deck ability, right? I'm sorry, the officer ability. This is incredibly important to me. I think that critical builds are the go-to for any type of armada and he helps out your solo grind a tremendous amount as an officer. Then you've also got Miles O'Brien, which some people don't give Miles the love that he truly deserves. He is a very, very good officer, and neither of these have the best sourcing, but a couple of these have no sourcing at all. Jadzia Dax, Odo, and Bashir, and Kira still do not have active sourcing in the game. Hopefully that does come here in a very near update. We can hope, right? We hope. So... All these to focus on. Like, I don't have Odo, but if you have Odo's below deck ability, he is part of the new meta when it comes to, like, the heavy hitter leaderboard event that people can grind. It's a rare event that's a grinder's leaderboard, not a spender's leaderboard. And I know a lot of people in the comments love that. You love being able to grind for the win without having to pay for it. Officer Kira is available here. You can see her below deck ability is a decreasing critical chance by players, which is a useful PvP one. But... I lean towards Bashir and Miles, but, but probably Bashir first because many of you did not unlock him when we went through the DS9 arc. So when it comes to officers, though, value-wise, I find it best to go after things that don't currently have sourcing. And until they go into our Bajoran faction store, and you'll look at all these rare loots and start adding in Bashir and Kira, well, you're kind of limited in what you can go after. You see, you, know, you got Cisco. Come down to the... You know, Elite Loot Exchange and Cisco, Change Cure, Miles, all in one. 
but you don't have Dax there yet. You don't have Bashir there yet. So that's where I would actually point you. Mantis first, maybe the skins depending on your gameplay, but definitely look at those officers and continue to always focus on officers and event store. If anything, this game has proven year in, year out how important focusing on officers is and why you should be doing it. So hopefully this video helps point you in that direction. I think it's the right direction. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for those space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Hope you enjoyed the two-parter of this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.